welcome back. Hey guys, it's Rishi once again, and we're back with part two of simultaneous equations. And in this part, we're going to be focusing on our worded problems. Remember now, simultaneous equations can be created to solve problems. So let's go through the first example. So in a shop, two coffees and three cakes cost £9.95. So again, I'm going to label my coffees as X and my cakes as Y. I'm then going to go ahead and write out two equations. So we'll have 2X, which represents two coffees, and 3Y, which represents three cakes, which equal £9.95. And I'm going to do that for the second equation, which is one coffee, which is going to be seen as X, plus four cakes, and that's going to be 4Y, which then equals £10.35. Remember now, I need to make my coefficient the same. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply the second equation by 2. If I go ahead and do that, let's just write out 2x plus 3y, which is 995. I will then get 2x plus 8y, which equals £20.70. And by doing so, I can simply go ahead and subtract my equation 1 from equation 2. So that again is subtracting the top circled equation. So 2 take away 2 is nothing, so we can cancel that out. 8y take away 3y gives us 5y. And £20.70 take away £9.95 gives us £10.75. So again, if I label this as 1 and label this as 2, I'm having equation 2 take away equation 1. Now that I've gone ahead and done that, I can divide both sides by 5 here. So now I know that y will equal £2.15. pence. So now I've got that down, let's go ahead and substitute. So again, let's take our equation, which is x plus 4y, which is £2.15, and that should equal £10.35. We then know x plus £8.60 equals £10.35 and with using my inverse operation I will subtract £8.60 on both sides. So now I have x equaling £1.75 and there we are. So y which is my £2.15 that is the cost of my cake and x which is £1.75 is the cost of my coffee. And there guys is the question completed. So what have I done? I've gone ahead and I've converted my problem solving questions into two equations. I've taken these two sentences and I've created these two equations. I've then gone ahead and made the coefficients the same which is 2x before working out y and then finally substituting it to get my second variable. So I hope that was clear. Let's now move into the next one. So sweets are sold in small packs and in big packs. And there is a total of 175 sweets in four small packs and three big packs. So again, let's go ahead and write this out. 4S, which is small packets, plus 3B, which is three big packets, equal 175. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the second sentence. And that again is five small packets plus two big packets equal 154. As you can see, the coefficients are not the same, but I'm going to go ahead and make B the same. And we know that three and two both go into six. So let's time this by two and times this by three. And our new equations will now be 8S plus 6B which equals to 350, and 15s plus 6b, which equals to 462. And instantly, we can now go ahead and subtract this out here. Again, eliminating your b, so that's now gone from the equation, we are left with 7s, which equals minus 112. We then divide both sides by 7 here, and we now know that s equals 16. 
So now we've got the cost of our small pack, which is 16. So now we've worked out the number of packets in a small packet, it's 16. Let's go ahead and substitute this. So now we'll take our first or second equation. I'm going to go with my second. I'm going to have 5 multiplied by our small packet, which is 16, plus 2b, which equals 154. I'll then multiply this out before subtracting 80 from both sides using my inverse operation, which then leaves me with 2b, which equals 74, and then divide both sides by 2. So I have b, which equals 37. And now we know we have 37 sweets in our big pack. Marvellous. Once again, guys, don't forget to pause the video at any given time, attempt the question, and then come back to see if you got the same answer as me. Remember, the key here is to break down the question into smaller, more manageable steps, allowing you to address the problem in a much more simpler way. I've got three more questions for you here, so let's dive into this. So, Mr. and Mrs. Smith take their two children to the cinema, and the total cost here is £33. And now, Mr. Joan takes his three children, and the total cost is twenty-seven fifty. So let's say X is going to be the cost of an adult ticket. So X equals adults. We'll just have a key here, and Y will equal children. And this is what we're going to refer to every time. And again, as you can see, that Mr. Smith is taking his two children and him and his wife. So let's say 2x plus 2y, which equals £33. And Mr. Jones, who takes himself and his three children, we're going to have x plus 3y, which equals £27.50. Again, we can now simply double our second equation here to make the coefficient the same. And that will give us 2x plus 6y, which is £55. And now we've gone ahead and done that, we can simply eliminate this. And by doing so, we're going to have equation 2 take away equation number 1. So how is that going to be planned out? Let's have 2x plus 6y, which equals 55, and 2x plus 2y, which equals 33. Remember that's equation 2 subtracting equation 1. Again, that leaves us with 4y, which equals 22. And if we divide both sides by 4 here, we'll be left with y, which equals £5.50. So now we know that the cost of a child ticket is £5.50. Let's go ahead and substitute this. So again, I'll take my second equation, which is x plus 3 times £5.50, which equals 27.5. I'll go ahead and multiply this out here. So I know we have x plus 16.50 before minusing 16.50 on both sides. And by doing so, I now know that x equals £11. And that there is our adult ticket price. So we've got 11 for our adult and £5.50 for our children. And I hope that question was clear. Okay, marvellous. Let's move over to the second last question. So Alan and Connor have £6.70 in total. And Alan has £1.70 more than Connor. So they told us to let A be the amount of money Alan has and C be the amount of money that Connor has. So let's set up a pair of simultaneous equations and solve to find out how much each person has. So we'll have A plus C, which equals £6.70. That's your Alan and your Connor. And now we know that Alan has £1.70 more than Connor. So the difference of this is £1.70. So you can now see we have our coefficient the same for C. So if we simply go ahead and add these out, we'll have 2a, which equals £8.40. And if we divide these by 2, we'll be left with a being £4.20. So we now know that Alan has £4.20. 
And so let's now go ahead and substitute this. So let's go for £4.20 plus our Connor, which equals £6.70. Before subtracting £4.20 using our inverse operation, so we now have C equaling to £2.50. And that there would be our answer. Alan having £4.20 and Connor having £2.50. And in order to check this, as we know that Alan had £1.70 more, we can simply go ahead and subtract this out. And we now know that it is indeed £1.70 over. Perfect. So I hope you guys are understanding what I'm doing and how I'm breaking this down into smaller, more manageable steps. Don't forget this isn't a race and you do need to stop and pause just to make sure you're following the same steps. Don't forget to also check your answers to see if they balance. And if they do, you know you're on the right track. Okay, let's go ahead and move into our final question here. And that is where we have David that buys two DVDs and two CDs. And in total, they cost £18 here. So let's go ahead and write out our first section. We've got two DVDs, two CDs that cost £18. So let's go for 2x plus 2y equals 18. Ellie then buys three DVDs and two CDs. So we can have three DVDs plus two CDs, which equal £22. Again, we can go ahead and label this as equation one and equation two. And now you can see our coefficient for y is the same. So again, I can simply have my equation two take away my equation one. So again, that leaves us with x, which equals four, because we have 22 take away 18 and three take away two. I've now gone ahead and done that. I can go ahead and substitute this right away. So now x equals four, and let's put that into our equation, which is two times four, plus 2y equals 18. We know that's 8 plus 2y, which is 18. And we'll use our inverse operation here, where we'll minus 8 from both sides. So we're left with 2y equals 18 minus 8, which means 2y equals 10, before simply dividing both sides by 2. And we have y, which equals 5. So x is 4, and y is 5. Again, let's go ahead and check this. So I'll simply go ahead and check it with 3x plus 2y, which equals 22. So I know 3 times 4 plus 2 times 5 must equal 22, which is 12 plus 10. And it all checks out. And there we are. And that there brings us to the end of our part two of simultaneous equations. That's right. I hope this video was super useful. Once again, don't forget to follow the steps that I've listed out. Remember, we're only working with our simple operations of adding, multiplying, subtracting, and dividing. So don't forget to check through your answers and slow down. I hope you paused the video and attempted a question before then comparing it to the answer I got. You've done wonderfully well by coming this far. So don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. You'll be the first to get notified when we upload a new video. So keep up the great work and I'll see you in the next one. Ci strappi in the